Well, hello, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, Commander, Pilot, PLT for the Starliner Crew Flight Test Mission. This is one of our simulators. We have several simulators. This is our lower fidelity simulator where we do emergency egress training, yep. some uh, cargo operations and whatnot. This is the BMT and Sunny's gonna take it from here. She's gonna put that cap on and off she goes. I'm gonna go in, but real quickly from the outside, let me just show you little things. This is our hatch. So this is actually where we'll be getting in, this is how we'll be getting in the spacecraft on launch day. And then eventually, hopefully, <laughs> uh, we'll be getting out this way. We could get out the top also, there's a hatch right there. That's called the IVA hatch that actually goes to the International Space Station. Around here is sort of the parachute bay. There's a lot that's going to be going on when this thing lands. It's pretty spectacular. There's um, the forward heat shield that comes off, which is a piece right here. Then the parachutes come out. There's the bottom base heat shield that comes off and that allows the airbags to open. So it's pretty dynamic. It just gives us a little bit of a representation of some of the equipment that's going to be up here in case we had to do an emergency egress. But let's go in and I'll show you a little bit about the inside. This starboard step right here, I'm just going to climb in. So I'm going to have to put this hat on safety first. You know how it goes. Anyway, going in. So I am sitting on what is called a pallet. There's going to be no seat here. Butch will be sitting far over there, and I'll be sitting here. I'll show you how we get in. But you can also see there's all sorts of cargo all around us. This cargo, some of it will be transferred to the International Space Station. Some of it is just so that we can stay in our spacecraft for a couple days. Once we launch, we'll be flying for about 25 hours before we dock to the space station. So we want to make sure that we have water and we have a way to use the bathroom and just make sure we're all ready to go change our clothes and stuff like that. So, you, you know, you don't want to be in the same clothes and stink and stuff like that. There's only two of us. Uh, but at some point in time, hopefully next year, we'll have fly four people in this spacecraft. When we fly four, there's the potential to put two seats over here or there's a potential to put a seat right here where I'm, I'm sitting right now. When we get in, we'll actually have a couple strap-in crew members from the Boeing company who are going to help us get strapped in. But we'll be in our suits. Butch will probably come right here and lean in like this and then slide over. There's a handrail right here, too. And he can slide all the way over. To the seat right here. This is what we call the commander seat. The display panel is right here where all there's some buttons and displays that we can push and use to actually affect all the systems in the spacecraft. Another thing that the spacecraft has, it has a hand controller, a rotational hand controller right here, and a translation hand controller where my left hand is right here. All of the uh, gas supply and stuff like that so we can breathe is all on a panel that's right next to Butch's left arm over here. So I will be, just to go back to where I'm going to be, I'm going to be in this seat because Butch will have got in. Our folks who are helping us strap in will have helped us get in. And then I will get in and right next to him and I'll be right here. This is my seat. So I have access to all the displays and controls as well. And we'll be working side by side together. Pretty comfortable little chair. I'm going to take a nap now.